Hey there guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Got a kind of interesting and new um, view, test and view to do today. It's of a full complete kit by Spider Farmer. It's their SF2000 kit. It's, uh, it's got their 200 watt um, quantum board style light there and a four foot by two foot or 120 by 60 centimeter grow tent. One of my favorite um, grow tents just it's nice it fits into an alcove usually in you know your living room or bedroom or whatever uh, can be quite neat against the wall you get good access into the back of the grow good enough size really for um for single person for sort of your own use and um yeah one of my one of my favorites you can see here i've got some um uh, house plants in here these guys that are in the four pots so you get uh, four pots with the um, spider farmer kit they're actually cloth pots see the actual pots themselves here um, these are five gallon I think or 15 liter which is good enough for a, a reasonable size auto um, flower as you can see and in overall terms You've got um, fairly big potential yield out of this tent. So four sort of medium sized plants growing here. They're about two foot or 60 centimeters tall on top of the pot. So we're hitting about 80 centimeters there. Then we've got the grow light itself hung about another 45 centimeters. That's, that's 120 centimeters. As you can see, it's still another uh, 40 or 50 centimeters, maybe another 20 inches of um, height there. We could raise the light up and get a nice, um, grow some pretty decent sized plants underneath there. The light itself, the SF2000, I've reviewed the 1000 before, it's the same sort of format. So we've got the um, cool white and warm white LEDs here, 660 nanometer red, so the spectrum is suitable from growing from seed to harvest. We've got the silicon coating over the LEDs to protect them. We've got the meanwhile driver mounted on the rear um, and a dimming stroke daisy chaining uh, box here at the back to, uh, to give you full control. I tested this separately outside the tent in the normal test area and this light delivers an average of about 570 micromoles of power across a 4x2 um, from 209 watts which gives it a system efficiency of 1.99 basically 2 um, usable ppf per watt which is pretty good for uh, a budget like light like this um, that was tested at 45 centimeters or 18 inches you could hang a little bit lower a little bit more out of it but get a nice even spread of that hanging height. The tent itself is nice and robust um, it's got uh, you know, a large door opening, mylar reflective walls which are good, got lots of options here for um, extraction. There's four inch or they could be used as six inch openings up around here the top so lots of those. I'm using the, the one in the ceiling. The, um, the fabrication of the tent is really good. It's a solid material, so it's quite dense, the, uh, the weave. Um, it's got double stitching on the zips and the seams here. And just for comparison, I have a fairly basic um, tent, which I got. Um, you can see here there's only single single seams here or single uh, sews sewing on the seams here whereas here you can see they've got that double thread and here as well so nice and strong and robust um, the height as I said it's 1.8 meters I'm just a little bit taller than it it's perfectly tall enough for growing plants um, up to what did I calculate earlier? 
about three and a half foot tall, so about a meter tall, which is lots. Uh, also comes with fans and filters. So got a four inch filter here, uh, activated carbon filter and four inch fan. And then you get about five or six meters, about 20 foot of four inch ducting as well. It is not the easiest thing to demonstrate a filter, but what I did earlier on just as my own test, so it's, oh, it's got speed control on the filter as well, which is pretty cool. Just for a bit of visuals, I'll just show you. Here's the little speed controller. So it was on the low speed, you could barely hear it. Just a little bit of movement there. And then this is half, get a nice flow, and then at full it's blowing nice and hard. What I did to, uh, to test it, as in the filter and fan combination, is I close up the tent. I got some pretty bad smelling spray, the worst I could find, which is fly killer. And um, I sealed up the tent. Um, turn the fan up full, put my nose in front of the outlet here and um, sprayed inside the tent and could get a very very low level odour um, coming through the exhaust. It was very low level so I think the performance is pretty good of um, turning out the filter. In terms of the fan, as I've shown you it blows pretty hard but in terms of uh, noise it's sort of medium range i'd say it's not the quietest fan it's not the noisiest just to give you a little demonstration so i have a decibel meter here so it's a bit noisy in this area the workshop below and um but we'll go quiet and just you'll see the background noise ambient so it's about 39 Turn the fan, the fan was on zero, well on very, very low. We have it at half speed now, it's blown a little bit. And a meter away, 53. So for 10 to this size, that um, fan speed is likely to be as much as you're usually going to be doing it. Um, and that's a pretty low decibel, so I'd say 45 to 50 is reasonable. That's kind of the noise you get from a PC fan, you know, when it's doing some rendering or starting up. Um, that sort of level of noise, uh, maybe a little bit quieter than that. So it's pretty good. You do get some extra kit too. You get a scrog net, free. You get your plug timer and a thermometer, stroke, hygrometer. Um, for temperature and humidity. As I said, you get the four bags um, with the kit. So yeah, overall, as a real, as a starter kit, it's got pretty much everything you need. It's got it at a quality, which I think you'd be happy with. Um, it's not the highest end of equipment, but it's very good in terms of uh, starter and in terms of value for money. Overall, I double check this way. I think the price is about six thirty, six hundred and thirty dollars um, for that complete kit, which uh, might sound a bit pricey, but if you put together the cost of the light, the um, the tent, um, filter, fan, etc., it all builds up, and it's about right for the package. And of course, you're getting reduced shipping costs and all that kind of stuff, getting it in one go. So yeah, nice kit. Nice to uh, put a tent up, I haven't done that in a while. And uh, I've been running this for a few weeks. It's been running very reliably, very consistently. And uh, yeah, as I said, nice quality gear. Any questions or comments at all, please leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Take care.